I've got a five minute video, so I'm going to play the video and talk next to it. Uh, so he, here I'm going to kind of run through two things. There are two different ways of uh, bringing, meteor, uh, bringing famous into your Meteor project. So this is just the easiest way. This is the plain way. Uh, you can just go and find famous. A couple of people have wrapped it up. Um, and you, oh, this is very simple, just kind of like a little hello world example. So famous works like this. It has this um, like a 3D render engine. Um, and you kind of create an instance of the engine. And then you add to it surfaces. The surfaces are like, like renderables or a div. It ends up being a div. Uh, and you kind of create this instance of a surface and then assign it various properties. So here you can just see I'm making little key value pairs, like this is going to be this big, the surface, uh, and it's going to have the content saying, hello, Meteor London. And here I'm doing kind of properties, which is like um, just CSS, but like phew, redone by someone who loves JavaScript, you know, it's in camel case. <laughs> this is how CSS should have been created if, uh, if only... Yeah, if only we knew what we were going to do before. Uh, so here you go. So then th there's the context object, and you add the surface to it. Ta-da! Uh, start Meteor and uh, sit back and enjoy your application. Way. OK, now the other concept in, in Famous is this idea of a modifier. So now I've created that kind of surface. Now what I'm going to do is wrap around it a modifier. So the modifier is where all the exciting 3D animation happens. Um, but here, I'm just kind of going to give the origin so that the, the surface is going to have an origin right in the center. And I'm going to align it within its parent container in the very center. So here you go. You know what it's like to center something using CSS? This is centering using Famous. Hooray! Really easy. OK, so that's, that's, really, that's really like vanilla. Um, Meteor, Vanilla, Famous, just bring them together like that. Now, this second example is going to integrate Famous using um, Famous Views. Okay, so this is uh, the work of uh, Gaddy Cohen, uh, who's obviously kind of like really doing a lot to try and bring this, bring Meteor and Famous together. Here you go, you can see his his package here, uh, and he's got like a site as well built in Famous. Uh, and Meteor, so you can go, and that's the, how you kind of learn how to use it a bit. It's a little bit different. I can't be quite as destructive as I was in the last one, where I happily deleted the CSS file, thinking, I won't need that. Um, <laughs> here, here is like, OK, you, you'd recognize all of this. Here you go, make a template. There's a Blaze template, and it's going to render it in there. But no, 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 no. Now what we can do is make the famous context here. In, in our kind of uh, like our HTML, it, using sort of like Blaze templating, uh, kind of adding like the may, building these famous contexts in the templating kind of language itself. So same idea: make a context, make a surface, add a modifier, and and you get your thing. So here you can see I am kind of like in the templating, adding in little key value pairs. Here I can use CSS using this style of integration. So can, you can use just kind of like what we're used to. Um, yeah, this is just CSS. It's kind of boring, really, this bit. But um, OK, now the interesting thing with this way of integrating is that you can then, you just then use like the template kind of like uh, helpers. And you can sort of uh, now we're going to add the modifier like this. So after the surface is rendered, then it gets wrapped in its modifier. Uh, and after this little thing, I, I'll, it'll be really quick. You can watch this afterwards. But I'll, you'll see a flash of why Famous is kind of interesting. And uh, yeah, and, and, and why, I, why I can't leave it alone. I think there's something really interesting about Famous. Uh, OK, so there you go. This is kind of the same idea, same thing again, like create a surface, wrap a modifier around it, and stick it in the middle of the page. But what, what the render engine is doing, ta-da, there you go, the other style. What the render engine is doing is that. Oh, you can't see that, but can you see? It's this matrix 3D transform. 
uh, that's, the ex that's the exciting thing about Famous. And that's what the engine does. Uh, there's also, like, so if you want to find a bit more, I have a few more examples. Uh, Theo's site is, is one here, mentioned at the end. And he's done a lot of work trying, thinking about how to bring the two together. Early days for Famous. But um, there you go. Go away and have a, have a try. That's it.